Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about data raptor transform. Uh, data raptor transform is one of the communication uh, or one of the way where we can transform data uh, from JSON to different format or XML to XML format. So there are different way uh, through which we can transform the data. So if you have JSON input uh, which is coming from any object, you can convert to the XML output or vice versa you can restructure the input so one of the example which i am going to uh, provide in this uh, video to restructuring the list object and uh, you can convert the data to pdf docusign docu template there are different kind of formats are provided and that formulas are supported in the data uh, raptor transform so let's go and check what we are going to do we are going to convert a list item to a list so what is the example let's say we have this uh, json input which is contact is having the view of uh, displaying data is this way and we wanted to display the data in the list so uh, this is a very simple example right now so what we are going to do we will go to the data raptor transform i will write data raptor transform convert so item to list so let's convert item to list now if you see i need to select transform there are multiple input types so json or xml as i told these are the two inputs so currently i'm selecting in the json input and there are different output xml pdf docusign document template and custom so these are the different output format which we can see um maybe we'll try for the pdf also how can we convert a json to pdf format that we can check out and yeah so this is the different way right now json to json so this dr is for demoing item to list transformation all right so we'll save it as i told you can use the formula and you can use the transform so these are the places where you you, you need to do the transformation so in any kind of transformation what we do uh, let's say what is our input JSON so we will take from our this place this is the input JSON okay okay so now we will take our input JSON from here we'll copy it we'll go to here we'll paste it here so so let's see this is the input JSON now we have to come as a JSON format. So what we'll do, we'll transform it here. We will see there is a different uh, data type which we can use it uh, here. So contact. Now we have to use contacts or all right. Now see right now it's coming as it is. So what we'll do, we will check the different data type data type can we list map now see this is the way so if i'll go and preview it this is the expected outcome which we wanted to have correct if you go to my json this is the way i have so this is the way which we wanted to have so this have a lot of capability where we can use now if you go to again the transform part transform pub you can put as a json you can convert see your values are coming as a json you wanted to add most of the people wanted to do list of context so you can add this thing and oh, come as a map and you can preview it so you're converting this uh, item to the list. That's one of the way. Let's talk about another use case. 
now let's say you have another example you have contacts name is having this and this is another array and you wanted to display the name and the first name last then name first name last how will you do that thing so let's try to take this json go to your transform we'll go here all right now we'll take the outcome this is the expected one which you wanted to have so what we will do we will type it as an expected json out now we will go to the quick match so and we'll do auto match here now this is mapped now we'll save it okay now older one i have to replace it this is the old one okay now this is the now let's see how this is going to work if i'll put in like this okay come back come back import json copy quick match this is save this preview now this now see this is giving as it is outcome now we have to change it so we'll go to transform okay so what we have to do what we will do this is the one so what i will do colon one okay and this is i'm going to add and if i'll say contact colon one so are you seeing right now here what's happening right now okay now similarly we'll go to the last as we did here what we did name one first so name colon one last and context colon one all right now let's see see what has happened here okay now let's do the quick match here auto match and we'll save it okay now we'll try to run it again so what will happen here it is coming like this okay now we'll go again transform we'll go name colon to first context colon to name all right now similarly name colon two and context colon two all right now let's see what will happen here if we'll execute see sorry that last first didn't came so let's go and transform c name 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 first we have done a wrong so what we are mapping we are mapping all of input json to so first and second so we are we are we are uh, converting the json path of the, them so let's see see right now it's coming so you are able to convert from name a object to name one and name two so in this way you can transform your hierarchical data hierarchical items to the list